we're going to hone in here on a on a square state tonight, Joe. Utah. We're talk about Colorado. No, no. Wait, Utah uh, has a has a notch. Oh yeah, it. they got a little notch. I'm sorry, Colorado. Is Colorado. They're, they're, they're the square state. Now this this next story. It's, it's kind of personal for me, Joe, because I took this train ride. Now, there's a train ride that you can take. When you're in Colorado, let's say you're in Park City. You got nothing else to do. Park you can City's take the, in Utah. Yeah, but it's on the border there. It's on the corner. No, you can not. drive over to Colorado and take the train. Sure, you can. Okay, go. Okay, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> you, can drive, <laughs> you can drive to the square state. And take the train from Durango to Silverton. And then I guess that's where this. Oh, uh, you took that train ride? You know how much I love train rides. That sounds like an awesome kid, one. man. When I was like nine, I took that oh, train ride. It man. changed my life, man. Fantastic. Taught me, taught me about how the toots work because they get, you could buy a book. <laughs> and then in the end of the back of the book of the book that they give you, it, it tells you what all the train horns mean. Oh really? All the toot <laughs> that's what you mean, all the how the toots work? How the toots work. <laughs> yeah. And I remember that forever. But boy, things have changed over there because I guess there's been a, a Bigfoot sighting. Now, Joe, do you know any more about this here? I'm gonna show you this this video. Okay. Okay. And let's see the let's see the video. I actually haven't seen the video, so here's the video here. Watch. Okay. Wait, all right, so on. you're on a train. There's a Bigfoot is what Where? they say. Where? You don't see it there? Where? Uh, you'll see it. If you don't see it yet, you want me to start the video over so you can see it? Oh, Two there goes. Here, here you go. Where's the there you go. Yeah, you see that that humanoid creature. Now Bigfoot believers are fired up about this video shared. Yeah, a couple days ago. Okay, three hundred fifty percent. Hold on, I got. I got to look at this a little closer, a little more closely. It was recorded. It was recorded from inside a train in southwestern Colorado. The footage shows a large, hairy, biped walking across a hillside before squatting in the sagebrush. You see that there, Joe? You see what's going on? Shannon Parker said she saw Bigfoot over the weekend. Parker and her husband mm. were riding on the train. The Durango and Silverton narrow gauge railroad train when they spotted the creature over there on the hillside. You see him there. You're, you're looking at him there. I mean, there's obvious. There, there's clearly some humanoid figure walking along. Yes. And she said that she told the news that seeing was believing. And she said that her husband and her were convinced the creature was Bigfoot in the flesh. Now, if you're watching the show, you can see. The creature in question. Now, Joe, you sent this to me last night, and I was perplexed, man. I was like, all right, there he is. You know what I mean? Like, there he is. Right well, there. Okay. Okay. Well, I sent you I sent you the blurb. I had This is the first time I'm seeing the video. So. Okay. So what do you think there? Uh, okay. I am, you know, I am not one to believe in the myths and the fantasies out there. But what else could this be? I mean, why would a dude... Uh, the only other thing that I could think of would be... Oh, God, what are they called? Um, ghillie suit. Is it a guy in a ghillie suit or What's some other kind of, like, hunting camouflage walking around? I mean, what would he be? If it was a hunter, one, where's the gun? And two, what, what would he be hunting right now? You're onto something with that idea as my, maybe a hunter. That's the only but, thing that I can think I'm of. Either point that out or staged. Either that or it's point like out a couple of things. Yeah. Well, before you say that, I'm going to point out a couple of things. You notice there's no snow on the on – the, there's little snow, but there's no snow that you're seeing oh, here, no, right? I don't think that's snow. I just think that's, I just think that's lighter color rock. It's dirt. You know what I mean? Oh. It's off season, it's dirt. So, do you want to take a train ride through the most beautiful winter wonderland in the off season? Probably not. You know, why, why not? not? There's there is still beauty without snow. I'm gonna tell you now, Joe. On this ride, there is not. 
as you can tell from the what you're looking at here, that's what it looks like for several miles. Dirt. Because it's covered in snow, like seven months out of the year. So, you know, after I went to bed, freaked out that this was real, I woke up in the morning and found out. <laughs> you thought Big Bo was just going to keep marching along from the Colorado desert to just come and get you, huh? No, maybe he's a, maybe he's alive and real. You know, that old video from the '60s. That you know, that's not been debunked. I don't think. They, I, uh, oh, oh, I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's been debunked. I'm pretty sure most of the Bigfoot stuff's been yeah, debunked. They've all been, but this one, I did have my alarms did go off. Like, okay, all right, everybody, calm down, man. This is probably because if you look around, there's no snow, and they have to come w with some sort of attraction to uh bring people to the uh excitement exciting durango I, to silver no, Rain. I actually i disagree as a traveler myself i actually like going to places in the office you get to see different stuff sure will i have want wanted to go to this place during the winter at some point sure but i'd still go if it was like this and I had an opportunity and maybe it was you're like, not, you're not a normal person, Joe. We've already um, established. Thank, okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you're you absolutely. So right, you, right, go, right. you do the things like me, you and I are similar like that. You go to, you know, Las Vegas in February when it's freezing. Fine. Me too. You know what I mean? You go, you would take this train ride in the off season. You'd be missing beauty, but you find your own beauty in this, in this case, I think they're just building this up. And so the well, are we sure this isn't AI? Have it has it are we sure this isn't just like someone decided to input their train ride video from you know the last weekend or whenever it was and then just like bleep blop blorp in, into into the AI video machine saying here, take my video of this mountainside and input Bigfoot. You know, Bro, I'm not even sure we're not AI. So, oh, are you going to get into that story about how physicists think that we're no, that we're no, actually no. in a simulation? We'll get to that, we'll get to that in no, another. Okay, wow, because that's a woo. Yes, I, yes, that is what I'm saying. But in this case, this is an AI. Okay, this is a guy in a suit. Okay, this is exactly what I thought it would be and what we all thought it would be because I woke up the next morning. 12 hours had gone by. Everybody's wondering about the Bigfoot. And then we find out that this is located in Silverton in Durango. It's mm -hmm. part of a quite popular Bigfoot-themed exhibition trailer company. Oh. Sasquatch exhibition <laughs> trailers. And they, <laughs> they dress up like this. Oh. We all got fooled. On all right. mm -hmm. So not a I was real thing. Say, I, I'm going to Colorado in, in, I don't know, six weeks or so. I can keep my <laughs> eyes peeled like when I'm driving along. Um, hopefully I don't run over a Bigfoot. It would be like Harry and the Hendersons. I'd like have to, Linda and I would have to drag oh, the man. Bigfoot into the car, that, throw it in the back, you know, rehabilitate it. <laughs> that is a movie that we should re- uh, look at. I'm gonna go see uh, Days and Confused for the first time this weekend. But Harry and the Hendersons is something. I Yay! I'm so, I'm really excited for you. Actually, you are. You yeah. Are. It's so good. it's such a good movie. <laughs> I'm gonna and you know you know me. I like seeing these kinds of movies that I should have seen years ago. I like seeing them with special circumstances. So in this case, we're going to the Chester Copper Pot guys. They're having a barbecue and they're going to watch the watch the movie. So that's how I'm going to oh, sweet. experience. Hey, have you, um, you like you, like you just said, you, you mentioned that you like going, uh, seeing movies in weird locations. Um, have you done the, the whole, uh, Hollywood forever cemetery movie night? Not been there yet. You haven't. Oh Not man. Really okay. Fun. I know that. I know we're out of season already. Um, you know, it's a little late, but oh, perfect timing then for you and me to go. I know, I know, I know right? Yeah. We'll, just, we'll just go and we'll do it ourselves, just the two of us. We'll have a nice little picnic. <laughs> um, no, but next season, next season, uh, when they do it in the summer, we should go. They always because they always play like really cool old 80s movies. 
Um, we, I want to say that we went and saw Wayne's World. Um, and that was a lot of fun because everyone was singing the songs and doing it. It was like, it was kind of like a, a, a Rocky Horror Picture Show edition of Wayne's World. Um, you know, because everyone was just singing along with the songs and man, the Bohemian Rhapsody part, there were like a thousand people on the lawn just all Where singing along. Where was this in Hollywood Forever? During Hollywood Wayne's Forever World? Cemetery. Okay, that'd be fun. Yeah, it's, it's, a like, good it's a good time. Now, for those of you listening way up north in Northern California, what we do here in the we we weirderness of Hollywood, <laughs> the weirderness, the weirderness, we we like to have concerts and movie nights in uh, cemeteries. And there's one real famous one called Hollywood Forever, where a bunch of famous people are buried. And hey, yeah, Joe Ramone's there. Oh yeah, the one of the Ramones is buried there. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't know nothing about it yet. We'll have a future show about it, but that's what's going oh, on. Oh, you, you, oh man, there's a lot that we have to teach you about the Hollywood Forever. It's it's pretty fun. Yeah, someday. But yeah, that's Some, fun. Some Harry and the Hendersons, day. though, man, that's something we should all put on our watch list. Yeah, I wonder if it holds up. Yeah, I wonder if it holds up. Yeah, um, I have a hard time with uh, with old technology. You know, if if a movie is like kind of oh, yeah. free of technology stuff, it holds up a lot better. That's why I really feel like Goonies really holds up. Uh, Princess Bride, for the most part, holds up. What I think they should do with Princess Bride is just take the parts with um what's it with Columbo and Fred Savage and just swap those out with new actors keep all the other stuff um with Carrie Wools and um oh gosh why can't I remember her name Robin Are you Wright designing this right yeah, now Yeah no no it's just like you can reintroduce the Princess Bride to a new audience by only shooting about 10 minutes worth of scenes the 10 minutes with Fred Savage and, and the Columbo actor, which whose name I cannot, it's escaping me at the moment. You know who I'm talking about though, right? You know, the grandpa in the movie. Anyway, whatever. And anyway, that would be another great one to see at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Okay. I'll take your word for it. One of these days it'll happen. 